Lots of objects go back and forth. That is, they move along a line first in one direction, then move back the other way. An oscillating pendulum or a ball tossed vertically into the air are examples of things that go back and forth. Graphs of the position versus time and velocity versus time for such objects share a number of features. In this experiment, you will observe a number of objects that change speed and direction as they go back and forth. Analyzing and comparing graphs of their motion will help you apply ideas of kinematics more clearly. In this experiment, you will use a motion detector to observe the back and forth motion of the following five objects. Oscillating pendulum, dynamics cart rolling up and down an incline, person jumping into the air, mass oscillating at the end of a spring, ball tossed into the air. Here's our first setup. I've got a pendulum and my motion detector and I'll just set the pendulum in motion and I'll get out of the way of the motion detector. So we'll hit collect and there we see the pendulum in motion and we'll make it a little bigger. There we go. And now we've generated position and velocity graphs as a function of time. And over here, we see raw data. As the time goes on, we can see the values for our position in meters away from the sensor and our velocity in meters per second. Notice that there are negative signs and positive signs for moving away from and toward the sensor. What we have here is a ramp I've elevated one end with a book. My motion detector is set here at this end and it's facing this way. And this cart can roll on the ramp. So I'll start the motion detector and I'll give the cart a push. It's got a spring loaded in the end of it. So then it went, when it gets to the bottom of the ramp, it bounces back up the ramp. Ready, go. All right, and now let's auto scale our data so it takes up more space and we can read it more easily. And there we go. Our position and velocity graphs as a function of time for a cart rolling on a ramp with multiple bounces. For this motion, we're going to jump into the air. My motion detector is attached to the ceiling with the motion detector device pointed downward. So it's pointing right at the top of my head. And I jumped in the air. Let's take a look at the data. All these data files will be made available to you on Schoology. They are of the extension .cmbl and you'll need to open them with the Logger Pro software, which is also available for download through a link in the Schoology folder for this lab. Now I've set the motion sensor to look upward and directly above it I've put a mass that is on a spring. So I can set the spring into oscillation And we'll collect data on an oscillating spring. So here we go, the oscillating spring, collect. And I'll auto scale it or make it larger. And there we have our position and velocity as a function of time for an oscillating spring. My sensor is flat on the table, pointing upwards. So I'm going to take a ball and I'm going to throw it above the sensor. And let's look at the motion of that. There we go. And it took me a 
what, a second and a half to get over there and put the ball in front of it. So the ball was this far away. Then the first time I threw it in the air, I did not do a very good job of keeping it over the top of the sensor. So I got a glitch. So I did it a second time. And there we see I got some good data. And then I can zoom in on that if I select that portion of the graph. Now I can just zoom in on it. There we go. That's some good looking data. All right, you should have already found the directions, uh, but if you haven't, here's where they are. And you'll notice I've put both a PDF document and a Word document. Uh, the reason I do that is some people like PDF and some people like to use the Word document so that they can edit it directly in their computer and type in the answers to the questions right below the question and have it all in one document. So that's a nice way of doing it. All right, so once you find the directions, Here's what they look like and follow these steps. You've probably already watched the videos. Uh, you need to install the Logger Pro software so that you can view the data files, download the data files from Schoology, open them with the Logger Pro software, and then answer these questions.